Donny, what's going on? Ah, uh, Les, thank God you're all right. Good thing I got to you early. Wait, what? Now, uh, you didn't eat those cookies, did you? Why? Why? How come? What's wrong with the cookies? Oh, no, 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 mate. They're, they're just fucking, uh, they're, they're just one age batch. Uh, don't eat them, because, uh, they're fucking uh, up, mate. Don, Donny, we, we've already, we've already ate them. Check out that fucking sunset. Fucking beautiful, mate. At the end of season three, uh, I was going for a real weird time. I was playing around with psychedelics for the first time and I opened a door that I wasn't expecting to open and uh, my whole life and perception of reality kind of got flipped upside down and uh, I had a near-death experience myself where I, I wasn't like in an accident or anything, I just uh, I had what they call uh, a kundalini, like a full-blown kundalini awakening where you see the white light and you just become this white light and then you get shot back into your body and you realise this is a big fucking simulation game or whatever. And I was not expecting that. Yeah. I was standing probably like right here. Imagine the sun like it's gone down and it, everything here is all shadowy. Like as shadowy as all this area. And I was standing here just like with a bunch of mates just like you are now. Everyone's talking amongst each other. And my mate's standing there, pretty much where you are, talking to me. And I'm like, looking at him, and then I feel this rising up my feet through your legs and up your spine. I just like felt it like rise up. And as it was rising up, the sound, like, sound was dissipating and turning into that like real high. Like real like ringing in the ears. As this um, sensation's going up my body, and then as soon as it reaches my head, at the same time, everything just like turns into this light. I just go, I like I was like, and I was gone. Oh, something's happening, and then like I felt my legs, and then it went up, and then boom, I was gone for like what felt like a million years, and then shot back, which felt like I got shot back in the past, but it was still the present. It was so hard to explain. That's why people think you're crazy because you can't explain it. What are you talking about? So that kind of fucked me up for the next couple of years ahead and I became really weird. Uh, I lost a lot of weight because I just like stopped eating. I try to like be uh, alone with myself as much as possible while also trying to make the show. I was in a good but a bad place and that was when I started making Trim Island too. I was just in the most incredible place. Yeah, like I said, I was in a really weird headspace and you can, you can uh, definitely see where my weirdness kind of spills into that episode. It gets real trippy and uh, a bit spiritual and all that sort of stuff. So I was really trying to um, express what I was feeling and what I was going through through the character of Big Les and trying to get Sassy to kind of walk him through it. I was also, when I started really getting into my music as well, uh, before the experience I had, I couldn't really put a song together. I couldn't make a song out of the blue. But all of a sudden, I was able to hear music in my head, and which I can then translate through my guitar. And those are the very same songs that you hear in that episode.
so how come you ran off into the bushes, mate? I saw a light fall out the sky. I'm chasing it. <laughs> Are we all chasing the light, mate? Looking everywhere to find it. <laughs> everywhere but within. <laughs>